of a cybersecurity coordinator, a so-called cyber czar position that the president is creating. Rod Beckstrom was director of the government's National Cybersecurity Center until his resignation in March. Hmm, we will talk about that in a moment. He joins us from San Francisco. And Rod, if you would, first of all, good to see you. Uh, what has the president, in your estimation, created here? Uh, a position in the White House under an alphabet soup of agencies here, the NSC, the NEC. So really, what has he created? Sure. Well, you know, the good news is we have a very net savvy president here. Actually, yeah. won his campaign largely levering this technology. And what he's doing is elevating the role of cybersecurity within the White House by creating a new office of cybersecurity, placing it underneath the National Security Council and balancing it under the National Economic Council, which is somewhat of a surprising move. That only developed over the last couple yeah, of weeks. Yeah, explain that to me. What, what, what are these two agencies? Why are they involved? And explain this to me. Sure. Well, the National Security Council uh, overviews our, our, our activity and coordinates it across most military and intelligence activity. But the, the, the Secretary of the Treasury also has a seat there. But it really focuses on the nation's security and on our wars. Works very closely with the Pentagon. Sure. It has a military and intelligence flavor. The National Economic Council focuses more on the economy and, and what's going on with business and what's going on with the, the Federal Reserve Bank and the Treasury. Very active in a broader purview. And I think what we see here is the President is saying, hey, this is not just a military and intelligence issue. We've got to balance this off with the private sector and the economy, which yeah. he, he elucidated very well in his speech. Gotcha. Rod, you were trying to do this job. What difficulties did you run into? I'm wondering, did you run into some, some turf battles? What happened to you? <laughs> you know, well, look, I had a great experience. Uh, and, and anytime you're trying to tie these pieces together, as the president talked about today, it's really challenging. As we say, a lot of the departments and agencies are very stovepiped, want to hold tightly onto their own information. And it's easier to talk about information sharing than to make that happen. And my job was to lead that information sharing and collaboration effort across the military government, across all of the intelligence activity, and the rest of the federal turf government. Turf battles, so turf kinda... battles, turf <laughs> battles. Tell me what happened to you. Why did you resign? Well, I, I resigned. You know, I, I came in and I had committed to, to, to stay until January in the new administration. Uh, I stayed for a bit longer. I'm, I'm a huge fan of the new president and as much as I was of the past administration, very much wanted to help. But when I learned that you know, we weren't really getting the budgets and funding and the support that we needed, uh, it was clear to me that it didn't make a lot of sense to stay. And to be candid, I miss my wife and kids in, in beautiful Silicon Valley, California. Now, I can understand that piece of it, that's for sure. <laughs> I, I ask you these questions because I'm trying to understand and better gauge what the new person to get this job is likely to face. Uh, did you run into turf battles? And, and you mentioned funding. Uh, two questions here. So what would it take to adequately fund this new position in your mind? Look, there's billions of dollars going into these uh, initiatives overall already, uh, and, 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 and more is needed, but in the right places. I think more mm. needs to be put into our civilian government and our departments and agencies that are outside the military and intelligence purview. Did I run into turf battles? Absolutely. Everybody in Washington does, and if you're in an area this strategic and this technological, it's going to be a very challenging job in the White House, but I think that's why it's good that the, that the president has elevated this to have a seat on both the National Security Council and the National Economic Council. That's a real position of power there in Washington, D.C. Yeah. that this person's going to be able to lead from. Hey, Rod, button this up for us. Um, how important is this job? How vulnerable are our systems? We're extremely vulnerable, and it grows every day. What, what keeps it from being totally horrible is that the, the whole world is dependent on the Internet. And this is not an American network anymore. This is the world's network. And the president made it a national uh, security asset. I hope he'll make it an international security asset because the whole world's together here. That's what tamps down some of the problems. All the countries are struggling in general with trying to bring down cybercrime and the hackers and what's going on. And we really need to lead international collaboration. And President Obama is the right person to do that. And, and I, let's hope that he chooses someone in that position that will help in that effort. All right, we'll go offline here, and uh, I'll get some names, a short list going. <laughs> and uh, Rod, it's good to see you. Thanks <laughs> right. for your time. Thank you, Tony. Good to see you. Yeah.